Good morning. Today we're here at Kroger. We're going to check some of the sales prices for the week, some of the things you guys have asked about, and check the shelves. Let's get to it. Okay, so as soon as we come into Kroger here, we see they got their six packs. Now these aren't 20 ounces. These are 16.9 ounce bottles. Six packs, four for $12. It's a pretty decent deal. What's not a decent deal is you have to buy three 12 packs for $6.99. $7.99 the regular price now. Pop, I'll tell you what, just keeps going up in price. Man, that's crazy. That's $21 for three 12 packs plus tax. Even the two liters are getting pretty ridiculous. Buy three or more, $2.49 each. They are now $2.99 a piece. Yeah, you save a little bit, but I mean, this was even over the regular price just a couple weeks ago. I don't know. Pop's getting expensive. If you find a good deal on it, I would buy up some. One good digital coupon they have this week is the Ice Mountain Spring Water 24 pack for $2.99. Regular price, $5.49 now. So you do have to have the digital coupon, but you can get it for $2.99. One thing I wanted to point out real quick is it does look like we have a lot of Capri Sun and Kool-Aid back in. However, we are starting to see inconvenience stickers again. The last, last year, around this time, and I know schools are going back in, but they're not getting in as much as they were. They had just put these up. They do still have their Gatorade on sale, four for five dollars. You do have to buy four, or they are a dollar sixty-nine each. Now, since they've raised the price to a dollar sixty-nine each, I think they've always had it on sale because I don't know anyone that would pay a dollar sixty-nine for one of these. As I was walking down this way, I figured I would start off with the coffee. Do have a good deal on the Starbucks this week, six ninety-nine on sale, down from nine ninety-nine. And it says that this sale is going to last until September 13th. Um, that'd be good if it does. It does look like they have their pods on sale too, $6.99. Uh, and this lasts till September 13th also. So it looks like it's going to be on sale for a little while. It's good to see. So it does look like Kroger uh, Keurig cups are going up. These were $14.99 for the longest time for the 48 pack. $15.99 now, and it says low price on it. So are they going up again? I guess we'll just have to wait and see. They do have the 120 count for $29.99. This used to be 100 count. So that's good they're adding more in. Uh, the price is up, though. It was $24.99. So they added 20 more, added an extra $5. It is on sale this week, $28.99. And this sale lasts until September 6th. They have brought back their buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. We'll have to see. I've heard that there's not a lot of sales, uh, not a lot of products on this like there usually is. We'll just have to check. They do have the Kroger 12-pack uh, Keurig cups here on sale down to $3.49. When you buy five or more, you save a dollar each. This will be the price. No sale on Pete's Coffee. I know we have a lot of viewers on the channel that drink Pete's Coffee. Uh, the shrink flayed at 10.5 ounce Pete's coffee did go from 11.99 to 12.49 now too. So they do have some random other ones on the buy five or more save a dollar each deal. Seattle's best here. And they have some digital coupons on their private selection, which as we see these have gone up. These were 6.99 before regular price. Now 7.99, 5.99 with the digital coupon. Well, I hope a lot of our viewers were able to buy up on some of the Folgers coffee because it is now back up to $11.79, which I'll tell you, that's just ridiculously expensive. Uh, the Folgers decaf is back up to $12.49. They do have a digital coupon on the Kroger ground coffee this week on the cans. And this decaf I've heard is very good. Digital coupon $5.99, and that's pretty much all their big cans of coffee. Um, $5.99. They do have the donut shop blend, which I like. Uh, $5.99 digital coupon. No sales on Cafe Bastello. Wow. $17.99 now for that. That's crazy. Um, $10.79 for Maxwell House. So that's crazy too. Look at this. 30 ounces of the Duncan. $22.99. $22.99 now. I've always seen this on sale. Like that's been the regular price for a while. But they've had it on sale for $20 for so long. Now to see it without that sale, it's just, I don't know, it's just not worth it anymore. 
we get a lot of comments on the Zazo T. I know a lot of people haven't been able to find them across the country. Uh, check a locally owned Kroger's like Dillon's or King Supers. Uh, they might have the same sale going on. Uh, two for seven dollars here this week. Uh, more importantly, hopefully they have it for you. Uh, and it says this expires September 18th or September 13th, and it says locked in low price. So probably after September 13th, uh, it'll be up to 4.49, maybe higher. So I would take advantage of this sale. Okay, so this ain't good. Um, this is the Kroger vegetables here. They're out of green beans. This doesn't go here. What is this? This is green beans also. Is it just green beans? What's this one? Uh, Kroger uh, French style green beans. Well, they have some of the French style. I don't know. Maybe they're moving it around or something. Yeah, they have some green beans down here, but they have sorry for the inconvenience stickers. I've never seen these up in the Kroger vegetables before. So this is something we're going to have to keep an eye on. It's a little pricey for Kroger vegetables anyway. We found them cheaper at Walmart, Target, and Aldi. So, you know, they're either going to have to drop these prices. Maybe that's what they're doing. I really don't know. But yeah, it's a little expensive for store brand vegetables. We like Kroger vegetables though. They're pretty good. Uh, we get the Del Monte, as most people know. Um, we get them at Sam's Club because they're still less than a dollar when you buy an eight pack. Um, same with Costco, still less than a dollar if you buy the 12 pack, which I like to do that because you get more anyway. Um, and Green Giant, you can see where they had a sale. I don't know how long it lasted. We didn't check last week, but they're right back up to $1.25 a can. Okay, so someone was saying that they've been having trouble finding fresh mozzarella. Um, they do have it here at Kroger. I noticed it is on sale for $6.99 for the big thing of it here. I uh, don't know if you've checked Kroger, your locally Kroger-owned store. Um, but yeah, they do have a variety of others. It does look like they're out of one of them. Oh, no, they got some back there, the little cubes. Uh, I'm not sure. I think you may have left this comment when I went to the farmer's market. So I don't know if you meant, like, that kind of fresh or, I mean, this is still fresh mozzarella, just not right out of the case. Good sale here. Got the mandarin oranges, the cuties here for three dollars and forty-seven cents. That's about a dollar fifty off. We've been these have been like four ninety-nine everywhere. We did see them on sale at Aldi for three dollars and thirty-nine cents. So not much, not worth going to another store for. Here's another one. We always get comments on Honeycrisp apples and how expensive they are. Still expensive if you ask me, but a uh, dollar ninety-nine a pound this week. They do have their 18 ounce packages of blueberries digital coupon this week uh, for $2.49. They also have blackberries, uh, these blackberries up here for $2.49 on the digital coupon. It's a pretty good deal. What a difference a week makes. Two pounds of peaches, uh, weekly digital deals. It's even a digital coupon, so you got to do a little more work. Uh, two pounds for $2.99. So, well, okay, so that's not terrible. That's $1.50 a pound, so not as good as the $0.89 cents a pound we saw, or $0.88 cents a pound, but they do have a two-package of plums here. We did get a comment on some plums that it's been hard to find. Haven't had that problem around Cincinnati, but uh, they are two pounds for $3.99 this week. I can't get over some of these potato prices. I will say the red potatoes look better than they have over the last month or so, but $1.49 a pound, that is up from $1.19 a pound just a few weeks ago. So, <laughs> I don't know. It's pretty crazy. Uh, these big russet potatoes here, $1.29 a pound. That's maybe two of these. We continue to see sales on onions. Got the white onions here, $0.99 cents a pound. Um, which, these are huge. So, probably two of them. Pro two of them would probably be a little over a pound. Now, they do have the yellow onions here, the jumbo yellow on onions. Um, at Walmart right now, they have the yellow onions for 88 cents a pound, regular price. So that's a really good deal, and I will say they look pretty good. Continuing to see more inconvenience stickers again on produce. We saw this a lot last week and the week before. Sorry for the inconvenience. These are the sweet onions. They don't have any. Um, they do have some of the organic yellow onions, $1.29 a pound. I mean, for the price, why wouldn't you get these? You know, I mean, it's it's the same or less than the other ones. So, you know, it's, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get people to buy more organic. Um, but, yeah, it's crazy to see them completely out of sweet onions. 
Okay, so their cherry tomatoes are the same price that they've been. Uh, even the ones that are $2.49, these are the Kroger cheapest as you can get, $2.49. I'm not real, I'm not really a big fan of the Kroger brand tomatoes here. Um, I do like the private selection. Uh, notice we got an inconvenience sticker here. They do have these in, however, the 10 ounces, but haven't seen this here before. They just put this up, so that kind of tells me that they may not get them in. So if you want them, get a couple, you know? I mean, that's kind of a heads up from Kroger to let you know, like, hey, you might want to get a couple. So it's been a little while, but I remember somebody asking about gold potatoes. Uh, they've been out for a little while. I haven't been able to find them. We found some at Wal or, uh, Meyer, but they were pretty expensive. These are kind of expensive too, $5.99 for a five pound bag, but at least they have them. It does look like they're back up to some crazy prices on these little teeny tiny watermelons for $3.99 and Honeydew $4.99, which is up from $4.29. It's been a while, but $4.99, that's just too much. Something rare. Usually they don't have the exact number in price, but the Honeycrisp apples, as we saw over there in the bags, were $1.99 a pound. These are the smaller ones here, which in my opinion have a little better flavor. They're on sale for $5.99, regularly $7.49. So if it was me, I would buy these. They do have their three pound bags of Gala apples back in, which we haven't seen the bags here at Kroger in a while, $4.49. These are $5.09 for a three pound bag at Meyer, so definitely way cheaper. But we do see low price on here, so I don't know. I would buy up one or two because you know what happens when we see low price in the next week or two, they're going up. Maybe, maybe. I mean, you know, I never know for sure, but that's kind of the trend that we see in the stores. And if you don't mind shedding off a pound for the apples here, of the apples, <laughs> uh, they do have the Simple Truth Organic, uh, the Pink, the Fuji, the Gala, Granny Smith, and Honeycrisp. Well, Honeycrisp is a little more. Honeycrisp is $6.49 for two pounds. $4.49 for two pounds, though. Uh, we're always getting comments on organic apples, so uh, first time I've seen these in a little while, so I want to check out Kroger. They're coming back in, simple truth. So I do only see one inconvenient sticker on a Tropicana orange juice that they're not getting in, but we continue to get comments across the country that orange juice has been hard to find. So it does look like our Kroger has it. Also, I've never heard of this Jungle Matt's Organic or Uncle Matt's. Uncle Matt's Organic here. Uh, it is on the buy five or more deal this week. Save a dollar each. So that would bring that down to $5.49, which is low pricing. Um, they do have the Simply Orange that we always get comments on. Ooh, that went up. This was $4.19, went up to $4.29. And they do have some of the peaches, the white flesh peaches, outside of the two pound bag that we saw. Uh, they are $1.99. So if you get the two pound bag, that is a better deal. That makes it $1.50 a pound. They do have some, well, those are peaches too. Huh. And especially for all of our new viewers, every time that Kroger says the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal, you definitely want to look around the sides of the stores and in the middle. We're like in the back over here by the produce at uh, this particular Kroger. They usually have a bunch of the buy five or more, save a dollar each products. And this is where you'll find the best deals. They put the best deals out here. Uh, ranch, I think this is 16 ounce. Yep, 16 ounce. To quickly explain how this deal works is you just have to buy up to five items. Once you get up to five items or more, everything that you buy that is on this participating deal will have a dollar off. So basically this is gonna be the price. It'll show the price that's on the participating deal. This is the price you will get if you get the five or more. Uh, it, it'll, this will be the sale price and this is the regular price, but don't worry about that. This is the price you want to look at because when you get buy, buy five or more, you do not have to buy like five pipe, pipe, five pop tarts or something. You can buy one of these, one of these, one of those, one of those, as long as you get up to five items or more. So you could buy three of these, four of these, five of those, six of those. See, after we're over five, everything starts coming off a dollar and these big numbers are the prices that you're going to pay. And you do kind of have to look closely. Um, you know, usually the buy five or more will have like a blue, used to be red, but now it's blue, uh, at least for our Kroger. 
Um, but this kind of stuff, like low price, these are just random sales, which are usually pretty good sales or sales that are just throughout the store. And they may just have like an overabundance of them, like the Chef Boyardee. Regular price of those is $1.50. They are on sale four for five. Uh, with this, though, you do not have to buy five. It'll state the price under here. If it does that, all you need is your Kroger Plus card, and you get them for $1.25 a piece. Now, that's not the same with the Gatorade, and here's where the trickery is. Down here in the bottom, it will say after four, or must with purchase of four, or something like that. It'll say you have to buy the four, but this one doesn't, so this will be $1.25 a piece. Um, however, some of this stuff, you know, when we see low prices on things, we know that in the future it's going to be going up in price. So if it's something you use a lot, I do recommend uh, buying up some, like especially with ramen noodles, three for five dollars, but they're a dollar sixty-seven each, so you don't have to buy three of them. But I would recommend it because stuff like this has been going up and up in price lately. So I'm not going to go over every one of these, but. They do have the family size Cheez-Its in for $3.99. We see these have gone up to $5.99 for the family size Cheez-Its. Pretty expensive, but they do have more than I thought they were gonna have. I got the giant peanut butter filled pretzels here. These are pretty good. $5.49, now these were $4.99 regular price, not that long ago. Uh, they are now $6.79 regular price. So $5.49 is not too bad. Got the Cape Cod chips here. $4.79 regular price. I mean, it's like, when we look at these sales, I kind of feel like I'm in the store like a few months ago. Okay, so we've been getting a lot of comments on oatmeal lately. Uh, they do have the Quaker Oats, the Quick One Minute Oats, and the Old Fashioned Oats. However, they are $6.49 now for 42 ounces. They are starting to get more of their Kroger brand back in, though, and these are $3.49. Now, Aldi used to be the best price, which really it still is, but they're shot up to $3.49, so pretty comparable to Kroger now. Also, they have the multi-packs here, the 18 value packs, $7.19 now, regular price. That's crazy, but it is on the buy five or more deal this week, which will bring it down to $6.19, so you save a dollar. Lots of digital deals on Kellogg's. Uh, Kellogg's Special K. Um... Yeah, a lot of these are digital coupon for $1.89. That's down from a regular price of $4.49, so that's a pretty good deal. I'm already overly loaded down on Raisin Bran, but you can see this is flying off the shelves here. Now, I'm here on the day of the sale, so I don't know if they just haven't replenished these. I know Raisin Bran has been kind of hit or miss. Seems like a lot of stores run out it takes a while for them to get it back they always have a lot of the crunch i just i don't know i just don't think it tastes the same but um it is on the sale this week buy five or more makes it a dollar 99 a box down from five dollars five dollars is this the 16.6 ounce regular yeah 16.6 ounces that is the smallest that they carry regular price five dollars that is crazy they do have a bunch of general mills cereals on this deal too buy five or more save a dollar each cinnamon toast crunch uh captain crunch i think i saw life cereal on this too uh maybe not um you know we are seeing a couple inconvenience stickers but that's pretty common with cereal uh at least it doesn't look like it did last year where it was pretty much empty um but fruit loops it's on sale dollar 99 yeah it might be if you're needing cereal Need to get to Kroger and take part in this uh, buy five or more deal. Frosted mini wheats, all the different varieties here, $1.99. Uh, that's, yeah, I mean, that's a pretty good deal. $4.79, regular price now. Okay, so someone was saying that they've been having a hard time finding graham crackers. We really haven't had that issue, but I will say we're seeing new inconvenience stickers here, so it may not be long before we do. Um, they want to check out the vanilla wafers. Uh, everybody was saying that the Kroger uh, vanilla wafers are just fine. Uh, and they're $2.50. That is half the price of vanilla wafers, $4.99. That's just nuts. Looking below the graham crackers here, I do see um, they've got some uh, Keebler, different Keebler products here, part of the buy five or more deal too. Uh, there were some viewers that were saying that there wasn't many products on the buy five or more. It may just be... 
the Kroger's that you're at or your Kroger owned store. I'm not sure, but I'm seeing quite a bit in here today. Uh, there are a couple inconvenience stickers on the Keebler products, but yeah, most of them are uh, $1.99 on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. Uh, somebody, we had a couple comments a little over a week ago that they haven't been able to find Oreos. Well, this is interesting because I've never seen Oreos this low at Kroger, ever. Never. Even last year, there was like, you couldn't find anything, you could always find Oreos. This is interesting. And $4.59 now for family size. Oof. And it says low price on it. Now, the one we saw at Aldi is the party size. Uh, this is the, no, that's the family size still. Yeah, so their party size is $5.99. So we have seen where juices have started to go up in price here. Um, yeah, the Mott's regular price here now is $3.89. $3.49 was the regular price not long ago. However, it is on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal. You can get this for $2.49. Um, regular price a year ago was $2.99. So, you know, a little cheaper than that. And it does look like they've got plenty of it. Last week, we had someone asking about the Gold Peak Tea here. Um, yeah, it's crazy how much cheaper this is at Kroger than it was at Family Dollar. This was $5 at uh, Family Dollar. $2.79 here. Let's see, is it 60? Oh, 59 ounces. The one at Family Dollar was 64, but still way cheaper here. Um, somebody had asked about Pure Leaf Tea. Uh, it is starting to come back in. We've seen where this has been very low or out. Uh, and it is on sale this week, too, for $5. I did point this out last week, but I just wanted to show again how crazy this is. These were $5.99 a couple weeks ago for the 8-pack 24-ounce uh, Gatorades. 20-ounce Gatorades, um, $7.29 now. I mean, that's crazy. That's up $1.29 in just a couple weeks. I was walking down this way. I did want to point out the bacon here. Um, they got the John Morrell. Hardwood smoked bacon on sale for $3.99, down from $5.99. That's a good deal. Also, looks like, we, looks like we may have a price drop here on the hardwood smoked bacon Kroger brand. $3.49. I remember this was up to $4.49 a while back. Okay, so we had somebody that was asking about Sargento cheese that the price had gone up over $4 a pack. So I wanted to check. Um, they are on sale. They are right at four dollars, three ninety nine a pack. But two for six dollars this week. That makes them three dollars a piece. So a little better. I did want to show also. They have the Philadelphia cream cheese, eight ounce bricks on sale for a dollar ninety nine. When you buy five or more, save a dollar each. Regular price on these is three twenty nine now. So yeah, buy them up. So I just noticed here that they do have the party stack Pringles here. $1.49 a, a can, uh, buy five or more deal, save a dollar each. That's a great deal considering a regular size can is $1.89. You can get the party stack for $1.49. A little while back, we were getting some comments on toothpaste and how expensive it's gotten, and it has. Toothpaste has really gotten expensive. I did want to show, though, that there are a lot of them on the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal this week. A lot of Crest, Colgate. Um, a lot of different crust ones are on this deal here. So, yeah, this is good to see. Well, that is all the time I have at Kroger today. We will be going to the Kroger Marketplace on Friday to check out more of the deals that they have going on. Uh, we'll check the meat and the dairy, some of the things that I missed today. There were a lot of things that people were asking about, so I wanted to cover a lot of that stuff. Uh, for the most part, the buy five or more, save a dollar each deal is pretty good this week. I, I see a lot of good sales in here, at least for the stuff that we buy. So it's good to know that they're, you know, putting that deal back out here. When we saw the buy three or more, save $2 each deal, I thought that was going to be the new thing. We did see a couple inconvenience stickers today. So hopefully that'll pass and they'll start getting those products back in. But I know this time last year, we were seeing them all over the place. So hopefully that doesn't happen this time and they're able to get stuff in. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. With all that being said, I am out. And always remember, the adventure is out there.